Our next section for formatting is the number group and still under the home tab within the ribbon. And what this allows us to do in the number group is it allows us to change the format of dates, numbers, percentages, a variety of different things. It allows us to change those quickly uh, using some predefined shortcut options. So I'm going to start with dates and I'm in cell E4 and I'm going to come up here and it already recognizes that as a date because Excel recognized it when I entered in the information. But if I use the drop down arrow I can see a variety of other shortcut options. And the nice thing is in 2007 it gives me a preview of what those options will look like in the cell. So I can see that if I changed it to number formatting it would do 34,304. And if you remember from our previous date video that's because it's 34,304 days from December 31st, 1899. That's how many days it is to 1993, December 1st, 1993. So instead, I don't really want to show that because that's not going to be relevant to my audience. I'm going to use the long date format. And when I click that, you'll notice it says Wednesday, December 1st, 1993. But what's actually in my cell is only 12-1-1993. So Excel is providing additional information. What's showing in my cell is not what the actual value is that I've entered. So it's another example of how powerful Excel can be that it can take a value, in this case a number, a number of days, and then it can pull additional information and display that for me in the cell. Now I could uh, use that in the rest of these cells, but I just want to show you a couple other things we can change here. If I come back up and we go to more number formats, you can see that under date here in the number tab, there, there are a variety of other date formats I could use. I could just show two digits for the year. Uh, I could come down and I could show with a comma after the date and showing the full name of the month, etc. Now it's always going to show me a sample up at the top which is nice and if I really wanted to get into doing custom dates I can even come over here to the custom section and if I know how to enter in this information which obviously we don't in a basics class but later on down the road with additional videos you'll learn how to be able to do custom formats to show dates the way you want. But just for now just know that we can change the format of our dates quickly between short and long date using these two options up here in the number group. So next we'll jump over here to the salary column and talk about how we can format uh, numbers into currency.